Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters and I am standing outside of the Tamiya main headquarters and I was lucky enough to get a uh, special tour today and I'm going to take you along with me. So, let's get started. Okay guys, we're entering the museum room and I have to admit I walked in here for a few seconds earlier to kind of get a lay of the land and it is quite impressive inside here. Some of the very, very old kits that are from the 60s, 70s, a lot of stuff I remember growing up with. A lot of stuff I've never seen before too. And the light is kind of low in here. Uh, obviously, so we, they don't bleach out all of the boxes because we're dealing with kits that are, or box art that is pretty, pretty irreplaceable. And of course, we've got some really big dioramas here too. Try not to get as much light reflection as possible on here. Definitely remember this diorama from one of the old Tamiya catalogs a long, long time ago.
Okay guys, I'm gonna try to make it with the least amount of glare as possible. But you are looking at some of the very, very old kits. And I know over the years that I've bought model collections, I've seen some of these boxes, not all, but some. see this when I had this kit actually fairly recently in a collection a few years back. And then we're going to come up to this kit right here. Here is the Panther. This is the very first to me a tank kit that has ever come out from 1968. So this even predates me. And then of course here is the ever popular Rommel tank. Now we're getting into my childhood right here. Yeah. Uh, well, it depends on the, like, to have a workflow, some fast to pack sort of. Yeah, it's, it's 
And now we're back into plastic models. Here are all of the 12 scale cars, as well as some of the 18 scale. Now this is some real old stuff, so we were told Tamiya started off mainly making wooden toys, of course you guys probably know that, but these are some of their very first model kits here, made out of wood, and, and quite frankly for being wood, um, and for the time period, they are pretty nice looking. And then we're coming into the regular plastic kits now. to some very old kits. And their first wooden toy kits. And if you're not familiar, to me it started in 1946 as a lumber company. And they would use the excess wood that they had to produce toys and then as we come down here this right here is the very first Tamiya model kit this is made in 1960 so the very first kit was a ship as you can see here but you were looking at the the very first Tamiya plastic kit This is kind of cool. I got this kit in a collection many years ago. 
It's a complete metal kit. And this was probably like 25 years ago and sold that kit. Someone offered me $75 for it out of a collection and I took it because I didn't know any better. But this is quite an old uh, rare metal kit that Tamiya made. Some of their early computerized stuff for the RC. Come around the corner here. interesting thing about this is that we make our RC cars and our classic models based on the real car yeah. Yeah. but this one we had this one was the original and a fan made the car oh, afterwards wow. okay. so yeah it's pretty cool Sweet decoration things. Yeah. Don't really sell well, but um Okay, now we're walking into a another museum, but this is all of the stuff that is actually current and actually in production right now. So I'll just kind of give you a quick little tour. Here is all their decorator series. <coughs> and then everything that is currently in production. Mostly in production. <laughs> oh, mostly in production. <laughs> I'll try to get the reflection off of here. Let's see if I get close. There we go. That'll get rid of some of the reflection off here.
this would be great for driving around in the streets having those rollers on there you can bounce right into walls roll right off of it and of course this is based on their uh, not slot cars but it's like a channel racing car and these wheels help it go around the corner in the small scale ones and they had a real car built just like it. and this is a real car this actually does run and it is drivable and it's kind of cool i kind of like this extra little bit of uh, wheels on the side there we'll come around here and just show you the couple of jeeps got an m151 from the 60s and an m38 i wish we had a willies here but and then you lead right into the Timia shop.